Yes, yeah, so the I believe this is my third time being invited to Team League, and the second time I basically slept through the whole thing because I was so exhausted. And this time, mm -hmm. I am awake. How have you been doing uh, so far through the day? We have lost every single game. Oof. Yes. Oof well, indeed. I won't say I, I won't say I hope you turn that around, but I will well, wish you. you good luck. Thank you. Um, you know, I did see that uh, you beat Bogsy, so congratulations. I there. did. That's that's my that's the most important victory to me. That's right. So and Bogsy is sitting next to me right now, and I'm just going to rub that in for the rest of the day, probably. And you should absolutely should. So here we go on North, and uh, you want to talk us through your lineup? I would love to. It looks like we're running a Ragnar, a Gearing, a Venezia. And this is a little bit of a stranger pick that you don't usually see. Mm -hmm. A Masva, two Des Moines, and of course that wonderful Saint Vincent. Yep, and both of your uh, Des Moines are legendary mod. Interesting. And I like that your gearing. Good to know. Yeah, <laughs> I like that your gearing is torpedo reload spec as well. Yep, using those wonderful 16 kilometer torpedoes quite deadly that's right that's right so let's take a oh, look how, how about your lineup here yeah yeah so team super t which is i'm super thanks for asking um with the super test logo because uh you know a, a good number of us in here are in the super test program we are bringing a kleber a marceau a yu yang uh, and of course that's radar yu yang right uh, a legendary moskva napoli marseille and this time, Yoshi is in a Montana. This is our first time seeing a Montana on our team today. Quite the French lineup. Have a very well, fast uh, west side here. We we just got schooled by a very French heavy lineup against Raptor, so I have a feeling that that's part <laughs> of what what this is. Oh, in fact, I actually got schooled by by Raptor's uh, clubbers as well. So no. Oh, seriously, interesting. Oh, uh, I, I did indeed. Interesting. Yeah, that that whole like wall of French. Is, uh, interesting. It is deadly. Quite deadly. Quite deadly. So we managed to get the B cap early because, you know, engine boost is a thing. Oh, yes. Those ships that go 55 knots to get there quite early. Imagine that. <laughs> You've got your Des Moines heading to the traditional Des Moines spot, looks like. Okay. Moscow going to the yeah. traditional Moscow spot. This definitely looks to me like a kind of traditional like sea cap hold from from my team here with only the two ships on the home cap to defend this could actually get uh, quite hairy i think uh, only the venetian ragnar to defend into four ships and then of course the des moines especially the ones going out to the 910 line are not too effective at rotating quickly yeah we have first contact here as uh, your venezia is starting to get some hits into him and ragnar onichan opens up Uh, he's trying to trade some long range fire with the Marceau here, coming off a little bit worse for this trade. Yeah. Here comes some big AP shells. Do nothing. A little bit short. Yeah, Master Graph was also quite angled with the Venezia, too, so. Yoshi. Oh, your ships have actually lost almost zero hit points. I think actually zero hit points over yes. this trade. Not bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. Um. I was going to say, I, I do like our Montana's central position. Uh, that's that's very powerful, very flexible. As your team yep, is... Very easy to shoot into scene. You also get these nice cross shots that he's lobbing over towards uh, the home side. Yep. And your team is now starting to work towards C cap. Our team, as you can see, is going for more of a kite away um, positioning here. Now, Yu Yang just got radared. Oh, is he deep into this Des Moines radar? Not deep. He's on the edge. Uh, but Chinese Hydro Abuser okay. will be able to get a couple of shells with this Des Moines. Oh, we have that wall of Yu Yang torpedoes coming in here on Prodigy Sean. Yeah. Nice torpedo gap there. He's got Hydro going. He should be okay. Yep, he's fine. Um, those, the Yu Yang torpedo reload booster is so deadly now if the dispersion is unkind to you. That, uh, that de really decided game two against Bogsy. Oh, did some nasty Yo Yang torps just smash into you? Um, well, he, uh, he he took one torpedo, and then his idea was to slow down and do like a, a zigzag and dodge torps. He took one, forced a flood, and then I think he forgot the reload booster exists and went broadside and took another three. Oh, I mean, I mean, I know that's my natural reaction. Is you see the two sets passing, you're like, okay, I'm good to turn down. Yeah, because we're bam, used to it. You're dead. Now. 
Uh, Tuolba and the Kleber doing a nice job of trying to work up the Venezia here. Yeah, I have to say, I kind of really like what your team is doing here with uh, the Marseille coming up that four line, the Clever opening the wide angle, and the Marceau right on the heels of the Ragnar here, uh, keeping keeping things lit. Mm -hmm. And he actually really wasn't too afraid of the Venezia because he knows that if he just sits bow in there, he's not going to take too much damage. That's right. Miss Clara getting some hits in from the St. Vincent. So you guys are rotating your battleship around to deal with our push. Yeah, I mean, the interesting thing about North is that the home cap and the contested cap are so close together that the battleship can can pretty easily cover both. And you can see your team as well with the Montana. Uh, pretty similar position. It's just such a strong spot to be in. It is. It really is. Now, um, our Mosva is uh, getting farmed out, but your gearing has decided to go into the cap and take it. Makes sense. Especially if they know where the Yu Yang is. He's opening up. Why is he opening up? Is he going to beach too? Mm, this Maybe could not. be bad. He's going to beach. He's overturned. Ooh. So you beach. Sliding into the island there. Beach in front of a Des Moines. Feels not good. All the shoal arcs are a little floaty here. If he can get unstuck fast enough, he might be able to escape without taking too much damage. Yep. And I think yeah. that might happen. His engine boost is unavailable right now. I have to say, I think as long as he gets away alive, I don't think it's too bad here since I think your team's main play here is on the home cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if he can get on the flank and, and push up against uh, against your team, that, that could make this game for us. Now, it looks like the Napoli is going to kind of... Uh, I think he's coming in towards A here to see if he can use his smoke to steal that away. Mm-hmm. It does look like that is his play, um, although your Ragnar is in a position to possibly radar and counter that smoke. Here comes the smoke. Now I like I to call it. I think the Ragnar. You know, go ahead. I'm I, sorry. I like to call it making Inky. So Hybrid has now made Inky. Although I think it's <laughs> I think it's too early for that, because I think he's going to run out before he gets the cap now. Nope, he's okay. Your Mosva is coming. I think he should be though. fine. Yeah, we'll have to see if either the Ragnar or the Mosva can enter radar range in time. I'm not sure if they can. I think the Ragnar was pushed a little bit too far away by that clever and Marceau. I don't like the northern turn by Hybrid. I think he would have been better off turning south. Now he's able to crap out his secondaries on your St. Vince. Yeah, he is going to steal the cap away here. Okay. Ooh, now... that Vincent dispersion just going yeah. right across. Now he's got he's to gotta run. He's got to get out of here. He does indeed. Oh, oh, the Des Moines goes down. Oh, Looks on Looks like flank. he probably went too far down there. He wasn't expecting Yoshi. A little bit too with the push. He wasn't expecting Yoshi there. Neither neither were we. <laughs> we were looking at the <laughs> other side of the map. No, indeed. I was not expecting that whatsoever. So that's actually uh, quite disastrous, probably, with your team able to push back in here and maybe make a play for the C comp. Yes, it could prove decisive. It's up to the Mosfet and the Yu Yang to figure out how to get back into this game uh, from that flank, as St. Vincent takes a Napoli Torp. He does indeed. The Napoli's taking some fire, but I mean, it is the tankiest cruiser in the game, essentially. So I yes. think he'll be able to slip away here. And look at look at Miss Clara coming up in the uh, Marseille now. She's going to come around and try to get on St. Vincent's rear, I think. I mean, it could be no. good. I mean, I think at the close range of the Marseille's AP can actually go through the St. Vincent Citadel, so this could yep. be quite dangerous. Yep. Actually, she's, she's turning north now. If your St. Vincent comes around... Oh, she went for the Venezia far away. She should have held that salvo for the St. Vincent. Here Did comes... Reload booster doesn't exist? She had already used it, unfortunately. It's down. Big hit there. She's going to go down to the funny torp. There she goes. Yeah, she... Oh, man. If Clara had held that uh, that main battery just a little bit longer, that could have proved decisive. But your St. Vincent just hit W and won. Oof. No, I think there's definitely the possibility, though, that the St. Vincent goes down. I do not have the mods installed, so I can't see the, the timers on the consumables here, but I'm assuming that uh, he might be in some danger here. He'll be okay. He's got 20 seconds until he goes down. I don't see him being farmed down in 20 seconds. It's going to be it close. Might be possible if another fire gets lit. We'll have to he, see. The only, the only person that can really shoot, though, is Special Case Marceau, because he's, he's smartly ducking behind the island. Okay, there's oh, another there's fire. Another fire. Five seconds to go. Three... He's going to get the heal off. Yep. I think you will. I think you're right. Yep. There it goes. Okay. Close. Very close. Now, if if Hybrid gets prepared for the St. Vincent to come south, 
It might be able to make something happen. Tolba actually could YOLO charge your St. Vincent right now. Yep. The Vincent is in a very precarious situation here. He probably just has to play his life and try to get as much damage as possible off on the clubber if the rush happens. Meanwhile, Meanwhile uh, Special K kind of pinched here as well. Yes, and Yoshi needs to move into Montana. I think he needs to get his guns into the into the battle again. He might have been waiting for a good shot on St. Vincent, but he's not going to get one. Yeah, I'm actually a little surprised that uh, Prodigy Sonnen is able to just been uh, yeah, reversed all the way away here. Mm-hmm. Um, but it looks like Yoshi is coming forward oh, now. He should be able to step on the scene. Look at K up to the north of Venezia. He's going to try for... Nope. Oh, oh he ran. Oh, he he rammed. rammed. He got the ram off. Can they oh get this goodness. Can they get this hit on Master Gaff? Meanwhile, the clever rush is going out. Oh, the Vincent Tort misses. Oh, oh and the other side is too close. Oh, no. Oh, the, the guns, clever is going to get guns. it. Guns. Get the guns oh, the up. Secondary, secondaries. secondary starts a fire. Oh, the guns! Too late. Oh my god, the secondaries. Too late. Did not start a fire. That's the crucial wow. thing. Wow. And I think he had already used the, the torpedoes on that side earlier. Oh, oh and the heal, and the goes heal up. comes up. Oh Jeez. my god. Oh, I mean, that is just what makes the St. Vincent so powerful. Is yep. Coming back from the brink of death there. Yep. That was insane. That has been the, the struggle with uh, this team, my team, all day is coordinating pushes and securing the kill it they just haven't oh. been able to make it work i mean we got that saint vincent down almost to death hybrid almost now to death twice, two times. twice you know k couldn't get the kill on the venezia hybrid now extremely low forced to make inky he's got a heal though i think he will be okay here he might even be able to trade the venezia and after he comes out of his smoke here it's a possibility that would definitely be the ideal that would be the ideal scenario for him, I think. But Yoshi, honestly, it, Yoshi needs to, he's reversing in the month. He needs to be forwarding, <laughs> not reversing. Yeah, I agree. I think Yoshi probably wanted to be a little bit more aggressive on this side and maybe try to force that Des Moines kill. Yeah, and with him reversing, Prodigy can just kind of sit there all he wants, and they're going to keep farming out um, Grey Ghost. Yeah, I will say the problem now, though, is our Venezia is probably about to go down here. There he goes. Yep. He does go down, and now you're on a 850, 860 points now. St. Vincent. on two caps. St. Vincent gets a fire going on Hybrid. Now, Hybrid is dark, and he's going to DCP this fire. But, all right, here comes Yoshi now. He's, what is he doing? Is he trying to get Angle onto the Des Moines here? I don't know. I think he needs to just be going straight north. Probably. I agree. I agree. We oh, saw it's him. Gonna be, it's, it's still going to be close, though. I think all he wants to do is maybe hold the C cap since you are so close on the points, but our Ragnar is going to be able to freeze B. I'm not sure if it's going to be in time. I don't... Yeah, and, and the thing is, Grey Ghost is going to keep getting farmed out with this with this play here. I really don't yeah, like it. Grey, Grey Ghost can't go forward, otherwise Prodigy will be able to shoot at them. Right. Uh, but, right. but going back is going to be in such a sustained fight with uh, Pagan Priestess here. Now, I'm definitely not going to win that trade. We, we saw this happen earlier against Sea Raptors team. Uh, Yoshi was way, way too... Oh, oh my God! Venezia Torps. Jeez. <laughs> Venezia Torps from two minutes ago land. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Yoshi way that too passive. That is quite a lucky break. Way too passive in the battleship. And we saw this happening earlier. Um, he's going for the cross shot on the St. Vincent, which, okay, can work. It may pick it up nope. here. Oh. Nope. Off. So, you know, it just it feels like he's not using his hit points properly. We've seen this a couple times now. Um, I think he was expecting to be able to just hold the double cap and win off of that. But um, I think the Napoli death was a little unexpected. And I think they also maybe didn't account for the Ragnar stepping onto B. No. Um, but again, I think, I think that's crucial. If Yoshi hit W and just went straight for the Des Moines, slapped him off the board, this would be a different game right now. But instead, I agree. I mean, go ahead. I think uh, when we saw a Chinese hydro abusers Des Moines go down on the nine line there, that was completely unexpected. I think it basically completely flipped the power balance on C. Yeah. And I think you you had a real opportunity there. I think for your battleship to push in and finish off Prodigy as well. Yep. Now. Uh, I, I think that could have been the game changer. Yoshi got a good hit on uh, Tolinator's gearing, but unfortunately he just went dark, and disappeared, and now there's really no way back in. Uh, for Team Zath. 
I mean, you could detonate Pagan Priestess here with this shot. Sure. <laughs> so, wishful thinking. All right. If we reform and wheel right, we may turn their flank. I mean, looking at the points, though, uh, the ship difference is, is two ships in favor of us. But, I mean, looking at the hit points, that St. Vincent almost died. The gearing on 2k, and, of course, you're only yeah. 40 points away from, from the win here. So, I mean, honestly, much closer game than, than I would have initially thought. This is the closest. Just, just from the ship balance. Yeah, this is the closest game that we have had uh, all day. Um, sadly, it resulted in yet another loss. Um, but I, I think uh, the nice thing about this is, um, you know, it, it gets some really good feedback for our team, things that are working, things that are not working, and how to uh, try to fix them up maybe in some practices after the tournament today. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think you saw how dangerous that home cap push was. Uh, almost almost killing several of our ships there. I think I think really just focusing on converting the kills is probably the way to go. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, and then, you know, that Napoli going into the smoke uh, and then turning towards the radars, it just seemed kind of weird. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it did seem a little weird. But, uh, hey, whatever. Um, congratulations on the win. Oh, it was, it was quite a close game there at the end. Yeah, that was a, that was exciting. So, um, well, good luck to you and the rest of the tournament. Uh, what what's your record now then? I think we're three two now. We, okay. We won versus Bogsy, lost our next two games, and we've we've clawed back a couple of games now. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Well, good luck, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Best of luck in your remaining games. Thank you much. Take care. See you soon.